Some fans are theorizing that Joe Goldberg is Dan Humphrey. 10 years later, thoughts. How could it be 10 years later when he hasn't aged a day? That's my question to you. <laughs> hey, I'm Penn Badgley. Esquire has asked me to explain some things that they're gonna show me about my life and my career, and uh, I'm gonna explain some things. My Wikipedia says I'm known for playing villainous and off-putting characters. Is this what it says on my Wikipedia now? This is the first sentence of my Wikipedia. It says, <laughs> known for, all right, well, everybody wondered, could I kill Dan? I did it. Dan Humphrey sucks, but what were the absolute worst things he did on Gossip Girl? He's the worst, but what's the actual worst thing he did? Okay, um, didn't he, he outed his sister losing her virginity. These storylines are twisted. This is villainous. I am known for playing off-putting and villainous characters. How did I end up here? Oh, I'm wrong. My character on you is a serial killer. How do I get in the mindset to play that character? I mean, I do think about it and I do worry about it. Honestly, for me, acting is just a very spiritual thing and I'm just present with the words I read on the screen. And when it's awful and it's kind of like makes your skin crawl, then that's what comes up. And then that's that's what I do. I think if I tried to profile him really like a, like a psychopath, he'd be disgusting and unwatchable. How has playing Joe Goldberg changed the way fans react to you in person? Oh, you know what? This is interesting. Rather than shouting out character names, this is what people do if they go, you! I'll, I'll ask this. Has anyone ever looked at a billboard that has their face on it and it says you on it? Try that out. Just try it out. Me thinking that Joe actually was trying to start fresh. <laughs> yeah, you are a clown. Sorry, bro. He's not gonna start fresh can't change. What was the most challenging scene you ever had to film on Gossip Girl? The last one, where I had to say Gossip Girl is dead and I could not keep it together. Could not keep it together. <laughs> Something came over me and I just couldn't say it. I kept laughing. I couldn't stop. I was sweating. I was like just having an out-of-body experience. What's the craziest fan theory you've heard about you? Hmm. I mean, it's the one that everybody served that like the woman at the end was Joe's mom. That would be crazy. Did you see how young her arm was? That was not an old woman's arm. There's no way. Oh, what can I tell you about my upcoming podcast, Podcrushed? That it's in the works and that we're negotiating and that I really, I don't know that I can say much else, but I've interviewed a lot of people who I know and some, some comedians and some writers and stuff. So should be good. What was my school work balance like as a child working in the Young of the Restlands? What balance? You've seen enough documentaries about child actors. There is no balance. I didn't go to school. <laughs> oh, I became a new dad, much like Joe Goldberg. Did this affect my acting approach? It gave me something to go home to that helped me not think about Joe, that's for sure. You know, I connected much more to the joy of fatherhood than the fear of failure with Joe. My name is Penn Badgley. Thank you for watching me explain things on Esquire.